Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will discuss, Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 Spoilers. In this chapter, one unexpected guest joins the fight of Yuji vs Sukuna. But before moving on to spoilers, please hit that like button. And let's complete my 1000 subscribers mark today, I know this video will cross 40 views easily, and we are just 40 subscribers away from, 1000. So please, smash that button, and now. The previous chapter saw Yuji Itadori finally succeed in reaching out to Megumi Fushigiro. With that, Megumi finally started fighting back against Ryom and Sukuna. With the assist, Yuji started to dominate the fight against the King of Curses, just then, Sukuna seemingly opened his domain. Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 Spoilers opened with a flashback of Yuta Okatsu and Satoru Gojo during their body swap training. Yuta, while in Gojo's body, asks Gojo to give him the final Sukuna finger so that he can have Rika devour it and copy Sukuna's shrine curse technique. However, Gojo, while in Yuta's body, denies the request as the final finger would not be enough to analyze shrine. In the past, despite copying Inamaki's cursed speech, Yuta still needed Inamaki's input on how to use it. Therefore, Gojo did not think it was a smart decision to lose their only connection with Sukuna. Yuta agreed with Gojo and explained the requirement to copy a cursed technique. While Rika consuming a part of the subject's body was enough to copy one's CT, in case of a strong CT, the body part of the Jujutsu sorcerer needed to be fatal to them. Moreover, if the subject were to regenerate their devoured body part through RCT or modern science, the body part that Rika ate would become useless and could no longer fulfill copy CT's requirement. The only reason he used Inamaki and Hannah's arms was because it was determined that they weren't restorable. As for Charles's CT, Yuta took a part of his ribcage but assured him that it would be healed later. Mei Mei asked Yuta if he was informed about Yuji and Sukuna's resonance from Toto. In response, Yuta conveys that he knew about it and was going to execute the plan right before they fought Sukuna. However, they would only inform Yuji the bare minimum. Right after, Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 Spoilers saw Yuta informing Yuji that his body was already engraved with Sukuna's CT, as confirmed by the Six Eyes. Spoilers then switched to the present as Sukuna noticed that Yuji was missing one more finger than what he tore off to transfer to Megumi Fushiguro. That's when he realized that Yuta had bluffed him and used Yuji's finger to copy Shrine Court. Elsewhere, Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 Spoilers showed Yutahime and Gakuganji present at the place where Sukuna's final finger was sealed. Gakuganji asked Yutahime if Sukuna's finger could be penetrated with, that, technique. In response, Yutahime says that through a binding vow that solely focused on applying the technique's effect, maybe, she, could pull it off. However, Yutahime was concerned as, she, had only woke up a short time ago. Spoilers then switched to Nobara Kugasaki as she used resonance on Sukuna's final finger. This move saw Sukuna's whole body start convulsing. The King of Curses immediately realized that he had been hit with Nobara's CT, hence he started freaking out. He could no longer open his domain and was susceptible to Yuji's sure hit attack. As for Yuji, he was in tears as he realized that Nobara was still alive. Meanwhile, Nobara addressed Yuji, saying, How's that for OPPAPPI, you idiot? Right after, Yuji hit Sukuna with Soul Dismantle. This was followed by a knee to the face and a hard punch that made Sukuna throw up. Unfortunately, Sukuna hadn't given up as he punched back Yuji. Sukuna believed that Yuju had surpassed his limits for a while as he wasn't healing his injuries using reverse cursed technique. Since Domain consumed a lot of cursed energy, it was over for Yuji. However, Sukuna was again left baffled as Yuji hit him with his special delayed second impact punch. Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 267 Spoilers ended with Yuji hitting Sukuna with another black flash. And that's it for today folks, hope you enjoyed this spoilers. Also don't forget to subscribe the channel, we are so close to 1k. Bye, have a nice day.